Ayla and my AT talk is on the Q-collar. The design, it's made from silicone urethane and it's highly durable. It can withstand water, heat, anything that the weather can throw at it. It's um, designed to um, contour to the shape of your neck. It comes to nine different sizes varying in one inch increments because no one's neck and everything is the same. And so, and it can be used at all ages and all levels of sports performance. How was it developed? It was developed by Q30 Sports Science LLC, or also known as the Q30 Interventions in Westport, Connecticut. Um, the Cincinnati Children's Medical Center also helped them with this um, project, and the main producer of it was Dr. David Smith. He thought of this idea after he spent nine months studying the woodpeckers. Um, the woodpeckers, like whenever they pound their head in the wood, I don't know if you know, but like they'll wrap their brain around with their tongue to kind of cushion it. And obviously we can't do that. And so he was thinking of maybe something that we could do that could kind of cushion it. And so this is where he came up with the idea. So it can potentially decrease the, like, um, the amount of concussions that you get because it applies a slight pressure to the neck around your carotid arteries, which can kind of inflate your brain and kind of add fluid into it to kind of cushion it. And so like whenever you get hit, your skull rattles around and that's how you can get a concussion. Well, if, you're, if you have more fluid in there, then, then it can decrease that rate. And the amount of pressure, it doesn't add like a whole bunch. It's just like whenever you yawn or you lie down, you have pressure in your brain. And this device is mimicking that amount of pressure. Um, potential implications for the athlete and coach. Um, these implications are potential because it's not fully, um, fully like um, pr promoted by the FDA. Um, it can potentially give the athlete a sense of relief or ease to know that they can play with a decreased risk of injury because a lot of, especially football players, they don't want to get hit and they don't want to hit other players because they don't want to get a concussion. When you hear the word concussion or traumatic brain injury, they think like everything, like the end of the world or something, like it's just horrible. And so that can affect their performance. Well, if you have a potentially device that can help lower that potentially, then they would be more successful to actually play at their full um, ability. It can limit or decrease the injury time for an athlete. It can limit or decrease the amount of injuries a team has. And it can potentially increase the amount of athletes who will compete. Um, the Im potential implications for loved ones. You all have the parents on the sidelines that when a, their player gets like a cut, they freak out and they're running over there to you and you can't focus or anything. Well, if you have this device that can potentially help, then their loved ones will be not as, I guess, not crazy, but not as like, um, like just going overboard and being so protective. They can have a little bit of a ease in their back of their head, their mind. So can allow more athletes to compete in sports. Um, potential implications for the athletic trainer and medical staff. Well, according to Priority Designs, there are 3.8 million sports related concussive injuries that occur in the US each year. If, the de if this device can help potentially decrease this number, then the amount of concussions that the athletic trainer has to deal with can potentially decrease and they can focus on other injuries that their players have. Um, research over a five year span, there have been multiple studies competed, completed and the results conclude that the device has the potential to reduce the amount of traumatic brain injuries. Um, a specific study was done on 15 youth hockey players through half of a season. Um, they wore the two collars and they saw after the season, they saw that there was structural changes involved in the white matter of their brain. And when there are changes in your white matter, then it messes up with your nerve impulses and everything. And so that you not be um, competing and you'll not be moving around and like have all of your abilities. And they used a helmet accelerometer to count the number of hits each player sustained with the acceleration greater than 20 grams. And then also an NFL player, Luke Kukli, he's the first NFL player to actually wear the device. And he um, has, it's in the experimental stage, but he can't say much about it since it's not fully released. And um, a NASCAR driver, Brad 
Koslowski. He wants to test it out as well. And what's to come? It's still not approved fully by the FDA, FDA, so they want to do more research on it, and they want to expand the amount of individuals that are wearing it and the types of um, sports and like the age levels and everything. And they hope to have it out in 2019.